Hey guys, welcome back, and this time I'm going to be doing a video for you guys. It's going to be a little bit different today. I decided to flip the script for once, and um, this is going to be a story time, and also um, experience uh, sort of video, and also there's going to be like a little bit of a rant that's going to be in this video, but we'll get to that later on. And um, so this is a, a story that I've been planning on talking about for a while, like kind of debating on whether I should do it or I should not do it. But I decided to do it because, you know, like, why not? It's not going to hurt anybody. And it's not going to hurt me or anybody else. And it's not to bash anybody or anything like that. But um, I decided to give you guys uh, my story about um, reaching out and meeting my uh, sisters that I never knew growing up, and they never knew me growing up, and they never heard about me growing up. So, um, yeah, so I have, uh, I have a couple siblings, I have four, um, and, uh, um, yes, yeah. the, the reason why I did this twice is because, you know, it looked like I had five, but no, it's four. I have four other siblings, um, that I don't, um, really know a whole lot about, um, I've met two out of the four. The other one I talked to, but don't care to meet. The other one don't care to meet either. Uh, but um, we'll get to that later on in the video of uh, my reasons why. And you guys will know about that later on. But <clears throat> So yeah, um, so uh, I have three older sisters and a, and a kid brother who's younger than me. And, and the two that I met are... Megan and Jordan, and, uh, this picture, uh, is when we were young, um, I don't remember this, and they don't remember this, because they were very little, and I was just a baby, but, uh, this is us in the early 2000s, I believe, at the Portsmouth, uh, uh Chuck E. Cheese, and we're in the ball pit, and, uh, yeah, so, that's how we looked like back then, um, for those wondering, that's how I looked, uh, as a baby, so, you know, you'll see a baby picture of me for once, I don't really go into stuff like that, really, with this, uh, channel, but, you know, I'll probably, uh, do some other videos, like, showing you, uh, like, my baby pictures and stuff like that, maybe, I don't know, but if you guys want that, definitely let me know, and here's a picture of us all grown up from 2018. And, yeah, so that's us years later. And so back, back when I was in high school, I was curious about meeting my father, and I was curious about my sisters and stuff like that, so I reached out to two of them. I only got back, uh, I only got a response back from one of them. That was Megan. Um, and for those wondering who's who, this one's Megan, that one's Jordan. And the one with the black and the uh, flame... Uh, shirt on, that's Jordan, the other one's Megan, and, um, so yeah, like, I contacted them through Facebook, and, uh, Megan and I were talking, um, like, on and off, you know, like, we would talk sometimes, and try to get to know each other, and stuff like that, and it was cool, and then, you know, a couple of years, like, you know, we lost the track of each other, but then a couple of years later went by, and I contacted her mom through Facebook, and basically got back in touch with her, and, uh, we started talking to each other for, like, a good, like, couple months or so, and then we decided to meet for once, um, for the first time, and, uh, she, uh, you know, wanted to meet up in Florida, because that's where she lived at the time with her girlfriend, now wife, um, and, uh, I happened to be going with my mom to visit my grandparents, because that's where they go in the wintertime, and so she asked me one day if, if, uh, if we wanted to go get breakfast with her and, in Jordan, and I said, sure, and, you know, so we planned a date, and, you know, we ended up seeing each other for the first time, meeting, and my grandparents met her, met the two of them, and my mom, uh, met them before when they were little, but it's been years since she saw them, uh, and, uh, yeah, so we had a great time catching up with each other and getting to know each other and all that. We went to a restaurant called First Watch, I don't know if you guys heard of that. Um, a lot of them are down in Florida. I'm not sure if there's any, um, up where, uh, I am, like, in the New England area. 
probably not in there's probably not any in New Hampshire. I doubt it. Um, if there is, you know, if you can feel free to let me know, but I don't think there is. But if you guys are are living in other states and you're familiar with it, let me know. And uh, yeah, so we had a great time, you know. And then, uh, like I, I still kept I still kept in touch with Megan and Jordan after that. Jordan not so much as Megan, but. You know, and then, like, during the summer, you know, Megan, you know, started, she, you know, faded out of my life, and I was disappointed with that. Um, also, like, before, uh, like, before her fading out of my life, I really wanted to have a relationship with the two of them, because, you know, um, you know, because it's normal to be curious about half-sibling that you never knew or, or heard about, you know, um, and... Yeah, so, um, I really wanted a relationship and stuff like that. I wouldn't say I was obsessive about having a relationship, but, like, I really, you know, wanted one. And, you know, like, eventually she just stopped talking to me and stuff like that. And, um, also, um, what other, the other thing I want to touch base on is that, um, neither one of my siblings, uh, heard about me growing up and, because of my loser deadbeat father who uh just lies and lies and lies and and was alienating all of us from one another and it's just horrible. That's why I hate the guy so much and and um you know, I've talked about him before. If if you guys wanna check out my video, Sons Without Fathers, my story, definitely check that out. Uh be aware it's a little uh upsetting. Um but yeah, uh, the guy is just uh a joke. Like, he, um, he never accepted me as a son, and, you know, um, didn't really do much with any of my siblings either. Um, I mean, like, he did some more stuff with my siblings, but, like, not, like, actually, like, raising them and stuff like that. Uh, but, so that sucks. So I think that's the reason why, um, she doesn't really have a big, uh, you know, interest in having a relationship because of our father, you know, betraying all of us and failing all of us and everything. And the other one, uh, Jordan, um, last time I saw her was summer of 2019. I decided to meet up with her. Um, and before that we started talking every once in a while and stuff like that. And we decided to meet up one day for ice cream and, uh, we had a good time when we met up last time, and I haven't seen her since, sadly. Um, and the same thing, you know, lost track of each other, and we had we had contact with each other through phone and Facebook, but, like, you know, I just dropped contact with her because I was angry, because I felt like that she wanted to do stuff with me, but then didn't do anything with me, so I felt, you know, being jerked around and stuff like that. <clears throat> And also, um, she, like, me and Megan have the same views on my father, but Jordan's kind of, like, uh, more in favor, as well as the other one, Alexis. Um, yeah, she's, uh, Alexis, my other sister, just, is just crazy. She really is. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's the reason why I never met her, because she's so delusional and crazy and, and thinks that... <laughs> Our dad cares about her, which she, he doesn't care about her. And Jordan thinks the same way, too, that that she thinks that he's just going to, you know, just change like that. And Jordan and Alexis, two of those sisters of mine, you know, just uh, drank the Kool-Aid because, uh, because the man don't give a crap about anybody but himself. So, and he's got no reason to change. Like, he's never been around for me, so, and, you know... When other kids come along in the picture, you know, it's not going to be much different for for them either because he's only going to do what he wants to do and only does certain things with the kids when when he doesn't have anything else to do or, or if it's something that he wants to do that he's going to get, like, a payoff from. So, you know, not really missing out. I'm not missing out on the guy. I, I, I've met him once, uh, never cared to see him again. Um, and yeah, the guy, he just makes me so angry and it's kind of hard to, you know, f f forgive 
a person like that. So, you know, but I don't know if I can forgive him. But um, let me know what you guys think um, about that. And also try contacting Jordan um, through Facebook again, but never got anything. And she also has a YouTube channel too, uh, my sister Jordan. Um, and try commenting on a video a couple times, but they keep getting deleted or something. So that being said, you know, I just, I just, you know, have just given up entirely, sadly. Um, I'm really hurt. Um, I try not to think about it as much, but I am really hurt. And, you know, all I can say is just shame on my father for being the loser backstabbing you know, piece of garbage he is, because, um, it's just not good to, to treat people this way, and, um, the reason why that I don't treat people horribly is because of him, you know, because I don't want to be anything like him, so, and I'm, I'm better, and I'm a man, he's not a man, uh, he thinks he is, but he's not, but, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a better and, uh, and a bigger man than he'll ever be, and it really sucks, because I really missed him, I still love him with all my heart, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my sisters, Megan and Jordan, um, and I have a brother too named Tyshawn, but I don't know him, I've seen what he looks like, but, by pictures, but I've never actually met him, Alexis, I know what she looks like, too, but I'm not showing you a picture of her, because, uh, you're not really missing out on much, sad to say. I know it's not nice to say that, but that's just how I feel. Um, but, uh, yeah, and, um, it really sucks. Like, I say that if you're going to, um, meet half-sisters half or half-brothers or family that you never knew about or they never knew about you, to be careful and, uh, also... Uh, be aware of not being, you know, tight like that, you know, because it's kind of hard uh, not to be when you haven't grown up together and stuff like that. So a lot of the stuff I don't take too personally, but there's some times where I feel like it's my father's the reason why that I'm, you know, being punished for not being ever not being um, a part of their lives, you know, that's how I feel sometimes, but, <clears throat> you know, but what do you guys think, uh, um, let me know what you thought of this video, and let me know if you want any, any more of these, uh, kind of videos and stuff like that, and, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next time, in the next video, peace.